Whether you know her as the Smoky Mountain Songbird, the Leading Lady of Country, or the Backwoods Barbie, there's only one. Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton. And to celebrate her 75th birthday, we're taking a look at the 10 things you should know about Dolly's legacy in East Tennessee and beyond. Number one. Dolly Rebecca Parton was born in Sevier County, Tennessee in 1946 to a family of 12, and her dad paid for her delivery with a sack of cornmeal. Number two, she got her start on the Kaz Walker Show in Knoxville and did her first performance when she was just 10 years old. Number three, she's been a member of the Grand Ole Opry for more than 50 years, and her first appearance was actually 10 years before she became a member when she was just 13. Number four, she has written thousands of songs. While many know her hits like 9 to 5 and Jolene, Dolly is still writing music and says she has thousands of songs we haven't heard yet. Number five, Dolly is constantly giving back to the community because this Smoky Mountain girl never forgot her roots. Just to name a few, she raised funds to help hospitals in Pigeon Forge, set up a scholarship to reduce dropout rates at local high schools. The American Eagle Foundation, which rehabilitates bald eagles, is based at her theme park, Dollywood, she established the My People Fund to help the community recover after a devastating wildfire in 2016. And most recently, she helped fund research for Moderna's COVID-19 vaccine in Nashville. Number six, her Imagination Library has donated more than 100 million books to help promote childhood literacy across the globe. And the accomplishment was even recognized by the Library of Congress. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Dollywood! Number seven, she basically turned Pigeon Forge into an East Tennessee entertainment empire with amusement parks like Dollywood and Splash Country, the Dreammore Resort, and dinner theater shows like Pirate's Voyage and Dolly Parton Stampede. Number eight, as if music and theme parks didn't keep her busy enough, she has also written books, been in movies and TV shows, produced and starred in a few Netflix originals, and was the subject of the award-winning podcast Dolly Parton's America. Number nine, the University of Tennessee has a history class dedicated to her called Dolly's America. And number 10, fans just can't get enough of Dolly. Murals, paper mache puppets, pantsuits, art contests, a race car, campers, and even an entire home. It seems Dolly's fans will never run out of ways to show their love to this icon. Well, that's 10. Happy birthday, Dolly. I never doubt anything. I just pray and open my heart and open my mind and, and work my rear end off to make things happen.